Have a great day, people of God. Welcome to my channel. This is Sharanton Channel Info. In today's PowerPoint presentation, we're going to discuss and study Chapter 5 in Religion 9, Understanding the True Value of Law. Ito po ang pamagat ng ating pag-aaralan ngayon about the law. How to understand the true value of law. So, in the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 9 to 10, Jesus said, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just I have kept my Father's commandments, you will remain in his love. Therefore, this is the highest law of God, of course, love. Remember, in the encyclical letter of Pope Benedict XVI, entitled Deus Caritas S. God is love. Kaya nga, Jesus also reminding, reminding us to keep His commandments, especially His love. Now, in today's presentation, sa ating pong lessons ngayon, chapter 5, pag-aralan niyo po natin ang tungkol sa law. Ito nga po yung mga definitions about the law as a introduction general law divine law is the law of, of god of course and the natural law which, uh, the author of natural law, law is also god and the human law or human positive law man-made laws yeah. now in this uh, lesson my question for ito what is the law of the people of god Hindi ba talaga ang batas ng um, tao, ng simbahan, tayo, we are the church. It is the law of love. Love for God and love for neighbor. According to the new commandment that the Lord left us. So, ito ay mandatong naalala natin dun sa ating, uh, sa every uh, Holy Week, diba kapag kayong uh, Holy Thursday, may mandatong doon when Jesus said to the apostles you uh, love one another so in John 13 uh, verse 34 also quoted by Pope Francis uh, way back June 12 2013 when he mentioned this the law of love law is at the heart of our becoming more human fully human they chance us to be at our best i think i do some education for uh, filipino catholics yeah. number 803 so ito ay hamon sa atin na uh, pagbutihin natin kasi nga ang batas nito ay, ay written in our hearts especially the law of god why follow the law here are some reflections. We express this notion when we raise these questions. Alimbawa, why can't I spend all time on the internet on weeknight? Why can't I copy my classmates' homework? Or why do I have to go to mass on Sundays? So let's reflect on this. Bakit may mga tanong na ganito? And yet, St. John the 23rd, presented the intrinsic relationship between freedom and moral obligations when he said, kasi nga ito yung uh, mga katanungan, especially meron tayong mga kalayaan, pag-aralan natin din sa ating uh, authentic uh, human freedom during the good always and uh, follow the moral obligations. And St. John the 23rd said, those who claim their rights yet altogether forget or neglect Kinalimutan nga at kinabayaan to carry out their respective duties, especially the moral obligations, are people who build with one and destroy with the other. Ito yung sa kanyang uh, uh, cyclical na patient in terms, number 30. So, napapabayaan nga, yet um, nasisira, no? destroy with the other. Ibig sabihin na hindi talaga nakafocus 
isa tamang paggamit ng freedom at tamang pag-exercise o paggamit ng batas o law. Now let us turn to sacred scripture and the church teachings. The sacred scripture and the church traditions or teachings to understand how Christ in His very person becomes for us. His disciples, of course, the apostles, and the ultimate to becoming truly free and lovely persons. Na tayo, sa anong maging ganito rin. Yeah. Now, there's a question here. Pag-aaralan natin ngayon, ano ba talaga ang batas? What is a just law? And what is the purpose of this? Ano bang purpose ng batas? Ano bang packet na unit? Bakit merong batas? Bakit kailangan may sundin tayong batas? Huh? Sabi nga ni, ni St. Thomas Aquinas, he defined a just law as an ordinance of reason promulgated by competent authority for the sake of the common good. Take note of this, my dear student. No? The purpose, of course, is for the sake of the common good. And then he highlighted four important characteristics of this just law. According to St. Thomas Aquinas, also the doctor of the church or the angelic doctor, because of his brilliant his excellence, especially in philosophy and in theology, the Summa Theo Theologia, the summary of theology. So, sabi niya, he defined the just law and he highlights four important characteristics of this. Number one, according to him, a just law is an ordinance of reason. What does it mean? Ano ba ibig sabihin ito? My dear students, learners, Co-Christians, brothers and sisters. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay, kung sinabing reasonable, must be reasonable, ito ay yung pinag-aaralan, no? At iniingatan with a serious deliberation, a careful, a product of careful and serious deliberation. Ibig sabihin ay, ay of course, no? Uh, kung sinabing reasonable, ay, talagang, with a clear thought, with a clear mind, of course, uh, ito yung sabi na it just law. And then number two, sabi niya, it just law is promulgated. It means for any law to be effective, it must be clearly communicated. Ibig sabihin ay, dapat ito ay, ay uh, merong uh, communication, merong consultation, ano, at ipaalam especially sa mga concern, all the people concern. The common good put into action, sabi nga rito. So, pag sabi promulgated, ito ay ay, uh, ay payag ang mga tao, pinagpusan ng mga tao, at pabor ang mga tao. Uh, sila ay uh, aware na aware dito. Ganoon silang knowledge. At uh, pagkasundi din na ito ay uh, maging batas. Yan. The number three, a just law must be decreed by competent authority. Ibig sabihin ay yung mga tao na bumubuo ng batas, na gumagawa ng batas at nag-implement ito, of course, a competent authority. Ito ay mga talagang mga malalalim, magnilay, malalim, mag-isip at seryoso ang talakayan ng seryoso ang kanilang mga of course, yung mga sinusulat nila, mga recommendations, mga suggestions. Sample na lamang dito. Sino ba yung mga competent authority? Yung tinatawag natin ng mga church, church leaders and government leaders. Sample ay yung separation of church and state. Na, bawa, yung mga taong simba, especially yung mga authoritative leaders of the church, church leaders ay hindi pwedeng gumawa ng batas tungkol sa ating bansa, for the country. Ganun din ang mga government leaders, no? yung mga babatas na ating gobyerno. Hindi na sila pwedeng gumawa ng batas ng pagsimbahan. And then number four, a just law must be for the sake of common good. Yan ang ibig sabihin nito. No? Kaya nga ginawa yung batas ay para of course sa kabutihan ng lahat. No? For the sake of common good. Yun ang purpose kung bakit meron tayong batas. Para sa kabutihan ng lahat. The welfare of the common good. At ang lagi pinipromote nito yung, yung social well-being, kabutihan ng lahat. Ng lahat. 
at yung lalo na yung kapayapaan no? ng lipunan, ng Linda Society. So, ito yung uh, bottom line no? kung bakit merong bata. Ha? Yeah. So, ito yung uh, you know, the four characteristics of uh, a just law according to St. Thomas Aquinas. Then sa part 2 natin ay tutuloy po natin itong uh, kung yung discussion na ito about the law. Medyo mahaba po itong topic na ito. Kaya, uh, Uh, bear with us your, of course, uh, patience. You need to be able to do it, to do it, to do it. And I'll see you in, uh, in my next uh, part of this lesson, Understanding uh, the True Value of Love.